Hello and welcome back to Views on the Road. I'm your host Steph and today we're making strawberry sweetbread and you're gonna love it because we're using cake mix. All-purpose flour. To your mixing bowl you want to add your strawberry milk, sugar, yeast, give that a quick mix, egg, butter, butter shortening, baking powder, and if you want your cake mix to be a deeper pink then you can add some food coloring or you can add strawberry flavoring or essence and it's going to enhance the color because this one that's in here is red as well so you only need a little bit of it. All you need is a little drop, a little goes a long way. And with your hook attachment you're going to start mixing, I start slow and then I pick up the pace, I don't go past a six and we're going to continue doing that for four minutes. Dust your counter with a little bit of flour and dip your hands because this is a sticky dough. It smells so good. Give that a quick loving knead. And if you're getting the strawberry cake mix that has the pudding in it, you're gonna have to knead for about three minutes with the suggested amount of flour. And you're still gonna find it just a little bit tacky and that's okay. Coat your bowl with a little bit of oil and do the same with your dough mix. And now you want your dough to rise in size. You're gonna rest this in the warmest spot in your kitchen. I use my oven at zero degrees with the light on for an hour to an hour and a half. And while our dough is rising, we're gonna work on our red topping and we're also gonna be making a green one. Add your powdered sugar, all-purpose flour, butter shortening, and this part is gonna be up to you. You can either use some red food coloring or you can use a strawberry flavor that also adds color. I'm gonna be using the strawberry flavor because I wanna enhance the strawberryness of this recipe. And now with your paddle attachment, you're gonna start slow. You're gonna pick up the pace. You might have to stop a few times to scrape your bowl and you're gonna mix until well combined. And boom, done. Our red topping is ready. I'm gonna place this in a bowl and then we're gonna get started on our green one. Since I ran out of green food coloring, I'm gonna go ahead and mix my own. If you guys need to mix your own, here is the suggested recommendation. Add your all-purpose flour and your powdered sugar, butter shortening, and let's get started on making our green color. And with your paddle attachment, you wanna mix until well combined. And after an hour, our dough is ready to be formed. Once you have a nice little ball, you're going to start making a pointy tip. and the top is gonna to be nice and round. Once you have your desired strawberry shape, you're gonna go ahead and place it to the side and continue with the remaining balls. And now it's time to make our little topping balls. We're gonna need 12 pieces. And you also wanna shape them up into little round balls. And they don't have to be perfect because we're gonna be using a tortilla press to smash them down. And we're also going to roll out our green topping and we are also going to need 12 pieces. Cover and mold. And we're going to continue with the remaining toppings. And now with your green ones, you don't want to flatten them out too, too much, but you do want to flatten them out enough. Let me show you what that looks like. And you're going to place it right over, press inward, all around. And with your toothpick, you're going to kind of just create a few little slits here. 
And I will tell you something. I like the way they look best when you don't make a fuss. You just make the round little circle and you place it on the top. I think that that comes out the best and looks the best. And just like any concha, you're going to go ahead and create a slit. Make sure you let them rest for a minimum of 30 minutes. And now you want to place your conchas in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. And boom, done. Our strawberry conchas are ready. Allow your conchas to cool for 20 minutes before you dip them in chocolate. Bring a pot of water to a boil and you're going to place your glass bowl right on top. You're going to add your chocolate chips and this should take you about 4 minutes total to melt your chocolate. Your job is to make sure that no amount of moisture gets into this bowl. And once your chocolate melts, I find it easier to put it in a bowl for better dipping. And now you're going to dip your concha in chocolate. And I'm being very romantic by placing the strawberries on a piece of deli wax paper. And boom, done. We have some beautiful, delicious strawberry conchas dipped in chocolate. And I will recommend you can place your concha with your dipped chocolate in the refrigerator to cool, but that's going to make it a little bit dense by the time you get to it. So just allow it to cool naturally. And you guys know we can't wait for this taste test. So mine's still waiting uh, to completely cool, but I want you guys to take a peek at how delicious the inside of your concha will be. I'm going to need somebody very special to say ah. Uh, and the one with pudding gives you more of a cakey concha, a little bit more dense, but just as good. Your house is going to smell delicious. And I'm excited for you guys to try these. Mmm. Wow. And if you love the flavor of strawberry, you're going to love these. The first bite, you're going to get the strawberry flavor. You're going to get the comforts of your concha. And I hope that you love these as much as my family does. Oh my goodness. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. We hope you enjoy our Valentine's Day sweet bread for you, whether you're spending it with a loved one, your family, or alone. Just come back and watch this video, and we'll be here sharing a lot of love with you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!